Are you sure about this? Well, we're already out here. <laughs> oh my god. Meet Ryan, a paranoid and witty teenage boy that gets crippled in an abandoned building. He also likes to draw. And meet Sarah, a risk-taking, careless teenage girl that never knows what she's doing. They used to solve mysteries and message each other online, but after the crippling incident at the abandoned building, both their parents decided they should just stay away from each other. However, later Sarah discovers a huge machine out in the forest called the Dredge and needs Ryan's help to investigate it. This is where things get risky though, as Ryan is still nothing but a little cripple that can't even go down the stairs on his own. All they can communicate to each other with is their computers, but there is a catch. Both their parents attach screen monitors to their computers to make sure that they didn't contact each other, making things even harder. With all of these obstacles in the way of their exploring of the dredge, things become really difficult. But back to the dredge, the dredge is a giant machine that digs to the earth to find gold but it's really loud and powerful enough to dig through rocks and easily consume trees. One day, they discovered it in an abandoned building and have been investigating it ever since. Over time though, both Ryan and Sarah have been learning more and more things about the dredge and slowly uncovering new things, like secrets about the abandoned building and who worked there. This book has many dark themes, like murder, cults, and even sacrifice. And then, one night, Sarah decided to leave on her own to investigate the dredge in the dark forest. She didn't even bother to ask Sarah if she thought it would be okay. She just emailed him saying she was gonna do it. Does she survive? Yeah, she does. And then Sarah's like, Hey, there's a ghost and they said it was gonna kill me! And then Ryan was like, Yeah, I warned you in an email, but you didn't read and you should have waited for me! But then Sarah's like, But you're crippled! And then he was like, you know what? And then she was like, what? And then he said, I really want to go to the dredge anyways, let's go over there right now. But then she was like, yeah, but how will you run if something happens? I mean, I was really just chased by a ghost. And then he was like, how am I going to run if I can't even walk? And he was like, I'll hit him with my crutches, let's go. And then she was like, okay. Meet me at 2 a.m.